Shalom, brothers and sisters of Yasharal. Tonight, I'm doing things the old school way again, just with sharing my screen. And uh, I have a blowing of the trumpet that I want to do to put my, my voice on blast so that in these times, I am doing a full ministry of warning and showing what is to come from those things that, has been, that have been given to me. So I want to talk tonight about a few things, one of them being the molten calf. You know, um, and I'll show you again what this is. I've done this on my channel before. It's also in the Hebrew as Mesika, Mesika. And it has to do with the mask. And um, without further ado, I'm just going to jump into this and uh, just want to want to share these things because I feel that they are coming around again on this next uh, so-called lockdown, climate lockdown, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we are not living in fear. We don't do these things because we are fear mongering. We do these things to wake up those that have been grafted in or even those that have not been grafted in to Yasharel and to the true vine. And with that being said, let's read here in Exodus, Shemoth. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molten, a molten calf and have bowed themselves to it and slaughtered it to it and said, this is your mighty one, O Yisrael, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, Egypt. So what is the first thing that our Messiah says in Matthew, what is the first thing that he warns the taught ones, the the disciples of? Let's read. His taught ones came near to point out to him the buildings of the set apart place. And Yahusha said unto them, Do you not see all these? Truly, I say to you, not one stone shall be left here upon another at all, which shall be, which shall, which shall not be thrown down. And he sat on the Mount of Olives and taught one, and the taught ones came to him separately, saying, Say to us, when shall this be? And what is the sign of your coming and the end of the age? And this is what he said. And Yahusha answered, said to them, Take heed that no one leads you astray. And in the King James it says, Take heed that no man deceive you. Be not deceived. This is the first thing he says to us. All right, so let me share with you again, like I've done before in the past. This Hebrew word, masika, it means mask. The modern Hebrew means only mask or disguise. You can tell the sound similarly to between the Hebrew and the English word. In, he in Biblical Hebrew, this word means an idol. 
like a molding calf. Interestingly, the Bible's translated as molden, molten calf or molten God. More interestingly is the fact that all these idols are, mo are mostly no more than calves. To be more precise, young ca uh, male calf, masika as a mask, was and is still being used very commonly in the spiritual rituals of many religions. You may find them around the globe, including the North and South America. The Latin word is mostly identical to that of the Hebrew, maska. The most ancient idol, mask, was found in Hebron, Israel, and is assumed to be from 7000 BC. If you ever visit Israel Museum in Jerusalem, you will see the, the exhi exhibit there. So, Masika probably comes from the Hebrew root M-S-C-H, which means to hide or to screen, a word appears only in the Old Testament, for example. They, which I have read just a minute ago, they have turned aside quickly from the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed to it and said, these are your gods, lowercase gods. O Israel, which have brought you out of the land of Egypt. So, just wanted to share that with you. The meaning is a mask, a disguise, an idol, all right? And interestingly, when you look at what it means in the Latin, it means the, the cow means V-A-C-C-A, -C -C like vaca. What does that sound like to you? Molten cow, molten calf. And if you look at the etymology of mask, you can read more on your own, but notice that this word is basically describing, uh, I think this is the one where it says it's like a nightmare. It's to take part in a masquerade. So let me ask you, what is it that they are doing with these mask mandates? They are asking everyone to partake in their masquerade, to cover their faces with a veil, a covering, a disguise, an idol, a molten image. We are made in the image of Elohim, our Yahuwah. And we are not to put any image over our, our faces or, or in our minds or worship any other idol. Masika, mask, specter, nightmare. Sounds about right. <laughs> so you can also find it undercover. You can find other interesting things about the mast. Masak, which is the Hebrew for a covering, a screening. You can look this up also yourself. This is uh, the word actually covering. So it's already happening. You know, there's already colleges, hospitals, and businesses and more trying to 
uh, start this process already. And maybe this time around, people will see the truth and will not wear them. But there are still a lot of people that are deceived. And it's quite sad to honestly even have to talk about this again. But this isn't the only thing I want to talk to you about tonight. But this is coming again, my friends. They're going to do this again. Will you comply? Will you be a servitude, servant to the B system? Happily complying with all their mandates. So I ask you, have you looked at all the fires that are happening around the world right now? These are all fires happening all around the globe, around, well, not around the globe, around the, the firmament. So even in the area that I'm in up here, there's a ton of fires. I find it quite interesting. So this, if you don't notice it already, is a picture of what's left of Lahaina. Notice all the cars that couldn't get out. Normal fires don't do this. Melting rims and basically demolishing these cars with such incredible heat. We are living in a time when revolution is ha uh, revelation is happening before our eyes. And many people are still under a strong delusion. They don't want to understand or believe what is happening. What's even more sad is that many of these people continue to reject information or won't will basically not even look into a subject themselves to figure out what is really happening and what is really going on. I myself lived in Hawaii for 32 years. I know these people. I know what they're capable of. And, uh, you know, the love that they have for each other when things happen. But this was an act by the enemy. But also it was something that I feel the Father allowed to happen. If we read in our word, we will see that it's not just so cut and dry with what we think is happening. There is a there is a purpose for all these things. And it's really a time to pay attention and to repent and to just get right with your most high. Because if they can do this to us town, if they can, uh, you know, incinerate people so easily, uh, the technology that they have now is way beyond what we can imagine. So believe no one, do not be deceived, as it says in Matthew 24, 4. Be not deceived. One of the biggest words that you can possess when all these restrictions and pokes and uh, jabaroos and masks and all these things happen 
the biggest thing you can do is just say no. The power of the word no. Not saying that we are trying to be rebellious, but we are trying to be in the liking of the image of our Messiah. And we are not here to uh, to bow down in any way or form to these people. We must stand, be strong and courageous. Now this time around, I know that many think that it's going to be different because it may actually be something but these energy waves that they may push on people, there's going to be, you know, the right hand doing one thing and the left hand doing another. I have my own theories I'm not going to share now, but just know that uh, even the tests, which I know are the mark in the forehead and these things can be studied out there are so many of our people that have not done a full work of figuring these things out they have not done a full investigation into these things and that's not why I'm making this video, but I'm just trying to show that we must go all the way and try our, our best to be Bereans rightfully dividing the word of Elohim. And asking the bigger question about these events. So with that being said, everyone, we don't live in any kind of fear. He is our strength. He is our buckler. He is our redeemer, our Yahusha. And uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I want my brothers and sisters to be prepared as much as possible. We have to watch each other's backs and just be ready for not being able to go into stores, not being able to buy or, or sell. Uh, you know, if you are a true soldier and one that does not want to consent to the MOTB, this is what we're going to have to do, right? We're going to have to resist it and basically do anything and everything to not partake in these abominations. And I just know for me, in my house, I will serve Yahuwah. above all things no man is going to put anything into me and i'm not going to break on any of my beliefs i will stand strong for what i believe so with this Everyone, I just want to say, put on the full armor of Elohim and be ready because I believe that it is just around the corner. Their time is running out and they are getting more and more desperate. So that being said, everyone, shalom. And uh, be ready and be safe out there.